Hey, welcome to our next exercise video, level four, which will be the five stroke graph accented single strokes. So, five stroke graph, I've never heard it called a five stroke graph before. I just call it a set of five singles. We're looking at being able to play dicka dicka dup, dicka dicka dup, hand to hand singles, a very common movement played in pipe band drumming. Singles from right to right, or left to left, without the accent, or with. Okay, we're going to cover both. So, first exercise, one knee and a two, one knee and a two. That's just giving us a base for the singles. So, whenever we're playing singles like that with no accents, all right, you need to keep them all the same. You're relaxing your hands and playing within the beat. And we're going to play this whole page at 70 beats per minute, so it's a bit sharper, okay? So, let's try it. First line repeated. One knee and a two, and follow the hands because the first set starts on the right, and then the left, then the right, then the left. Ready? One, two, go. One knee and a two, one knee and a two, one knee and a two, one knee and a two. Repeated. One knee and a two, one knee and a two, one knee and a two, then one knee and a two. Done. In your second line, you're playing the same set of singles. One knee and a two except you're playing those demi semi quavers. So you're going to fit, if I give you that metronome, all right, beat and, beat and, beat and. The singles are going to finish on that click. So the quaver is going to be the and, ticka ticka and, ticka ticka and, ticka ticka tap. So you'll be right to right, ticka ticka tap, and then left, ticka ticka tap, and then right, ticka ticka tap, tap. Taps on the beat, so that's number two. So that would be the crotch up there. So if I play this first group with the metronome, you'll have this. One, two. Okay, so it's really chilled out. And then your second groups of bars are the same, but starting on the left this time. And whatever volume and control you had for those, you need to have the exact same volume and control for those, because there's no accents in them. Okay? So let's try that second line. After two. Nice and relaxed. One, two, so right, left, right, tap, left. And then right, and then left. Done. And again, it's very chilled out. If you need to try that again, try it again. But if you're feeling this happening, where it's really, really tight and a bit duck, 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 dot and cut, duck, 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 duck. <laughs> get rid of that. Keep it really even. And a nice way of evening out your singles is doing exactly as I've done there. Like you could get a metronome on and just sit and do that for as long as you want. No accents, no power, just control. And we're moving on to the next line. This is us getting used to putting accents in the singles. So we're getting semi quavers, uh, yes, yeah, semi quavers again. One knee and a two e and a one knee and a two. So you're following where the accent lies. Ta -ta 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 and then it's the same on the left. So let's try this rhythm quickly on its own. So you've got this. One, two, go. One knee and a two e and a one knee and a two. One, two, one knee. One more, two, one knee and a two, knee and a one knee and a two, and then it's the exact same rhythm starting on the left. One, two, one knee and a two, knee and a one knee and a two. One, two, one knee and a two, knee and a one knee and a two. One, two, last time. And again, as we spoke about before in previous levels, the accent doesn't need to be up there. Okay, if your taps are here, the accent only needs to be there, as long as it's louder than the notes around about it. So we'll do that whole line with the repeats. One knee and a two knee and a one knee and a two. Let's try it. One, two, go. One knee and a two knee and a one knee and a two. Left, one knee and a two knee and a one knee and a two. Right, one knee and a two knee and a one knee and a two. Left. And I'll do that line once more, and this time we're going to think not only about the accents, but the taps. 
between the accents. So all of these taps here. You need to make sure that they're nice and low. So when you've done the accent, whatever that tap after the accent is, the one that just done the accent needs to meet that. All right, so it's meeting the height and the volume of it. Okay, so you're not getting but an accent afterthought, I'll call it, where it keeps accenting. All right, once you've hit the accent, get it back down. Let's try the line again. One, two, go. One, the under, two, the under, one, the under, two. One, the under, two, the under, one, the under, two. Repeat it. One, the under, two, the under, one, the under, two. Then one, the under, two, the under, one, the under, two. Done. And then we move on to the last line where you're going to play singles from right to right. So it's singles and then your half beat is here. So that's your click, beat, click. And then the accents, beat, click, accent. Accents coming in between the beat and the click, okay? So you're getting that rhythm there with the accents. Right, 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 right. And the taps need to be low in between them. Okay, so this is the hardest one to do. Okay, but the not the easiest, but the most beneficial, I would say. Once you get really good at controlling those, all your accent singles are going to become far more controlled. So you're getting. Let's try that on its own. The right accent singles. Ready? One, two, go. See when I'm doing it, oh geez, so wherever my left hand is, once I've done the accent on the right, that's where my right hand's going to meet the same height and volume as the low taps. And then all I'm going to do is the exact same on the left. So I'll go left, 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 left. So let's try them on the left. One, two, go. And again, two, left, 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 one, two, left, 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 done. And if you're struggling to control that, then figure out how many taps are between each accent. And the way to do that is play it again, but take the left hand out, or then play it on your leg. So you're getting one under, two under, one under. You can play that as an exercise on its own. Or you can put the metronome on and do that. Same with the left. Alright. You could potentially play that as many times as you want. Okay? And that will really, really help. Another thing you could do is one on its own and then one with the both hands. So you could do the right. And then add the left, and then left, and then add the right. And the way to test if it's strong is whatever you're doing when the hand's on its own, right? The hand should be doing the same when you add to the opposite hand. That means your control's good. I think you're controlling the stick well. So let's try that whole last line. After two. One, two, go. Done. And I reckon that's probably the line that you would need to spend the most time on. Okay, you probably need to spend the most time doing that bottom line. So what we'll do to finish off is I'm going to play the whole page, top to bottom, repeating each line. So very first line, after two, one, two, go. One knee under two, one knee under two, one knee under two, then one knee under two. Repeat it, one knee under two, one knee under two, one knee under two, then one knee under two, fives.
GPS. Back to same as one knee under two, younger one knee under two, one knee under two, younger one knee under two, and then repeat it. One knee under two, last leg. Left. Then right. Left. Done. And you might find the assessor might not ask you to do that, all right, but us doing it there has covered all the bases. All right, we've played the whole page. So as always, spend as much time as you need to playing those. Once you get to that line being comfortable, I would say try and maintain that for now in your exercise repertoire, all right, because that's a good one. Certainly to get the hands going and to control the accent of singles. And then our next video, I believe, is, yep, single stroke development number two, where we're playing more accent and singles. Okay, so look forward to that. That'll be your next video.